Hey guys, GTA Mounties here, um, and well, it's good to be back. Um, you know, school's finally over, so I've got a lot more time on my hands to make videos and you know cater to my YouTube audience, which is uh, you know what I was unable to do before. Um, so there's been a lot of changes, a lot of changes since the last time I made a video. Um, first of all, I've been promoted to sergeant, as you can see here. <laughs> um, uh, that happened, I'd say, about a month ago. Um, it was truly an honor serving under Sergeant Allied, who's been promoted to Staff Sergeant slash Deputy Commissioner, along with Corporal Cantwell from General Duty. He's now also a Deputy Commissioner. Um, I should probably pull over here. Um, so yeah, I've been promoted to Sergeant of General Duty, so I'm now Head of Operations for the unit. And uh, under me, I have Corporal Haster, who was promoted recently, Corporal Sheminvud, and Corporal JT. And so they've been an awesome, uh, an awesome bunch and a great help for general duty. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's been some graphical changes to my game since the last time I've uh, made a video. Uh, first being ELS 7. Uh, finally got that installed, which is awesome. I love ELS 7. Uh, you know, love having the three, three stage lighting system here. This is great. Um, best thing I like about it is. You know, if you're pulled over at the side of the road, instead of just having these, you know, secondary lights on, you can also have these lights on as well. So now it's, you know, it's a bit more of a lighting system, which is good because now it's a lot more recognizable from the back, and you've also got a little bit of lighting coming from the front, which is uh, really good. Um, what's the next thing here? New vehicles. Um, <laughs> this is one of the new packs we. We'll have an, it's been a while since we've had another pack, and another pack will be coming out uh, sometime in the next little while, but this is the current pack we're using. Um, one of the new vehicles, actually, that was brand new to this pack, and that's been one of the uh, one of the vehicles we haven't used very much yet, but it's going to get a lot more used in game soon, is the Perennial 2, which is a transport van. Uh, this is the Major Crime skin on it. But I can change it here. Uh, let's take it to this car livery. I can change this to it's just a one without the MCU logo. But we're gonna uh, eventually be putting transport underneath there. Um, obviously, just for prisoner transport and things like that, uh, which will really be good because we have a subunit within general duty. Um, which, yeah, actually, I should probably go over that first. Um, General Duty and a couple other units in the in the uh, clan have rolled out. Tra uh, not sorry, that's one of my subunits. Um, they've all rolled out subunits, and basically what subunits are is they're part-time specializations within your unit that you can be trained to do. One of them within General Duty is going to be the specialized transport unit, um, and in that there's going to be two teams. One of those teams is going to be a prisoner transport team, and they're going to be driving in this thing right here. Have prisoners in the back. And the other one's going to be a VIP escort uh, team, basically. And they're going to be tasked with, you know, the equivalent of what the Secret Service would do for the U.S. President, uh, which is, you know, basically protect them at all costs during their transport. Um, this thing's ELS-7 enabled. It's in a civilian slot, so we can't use the siren on it, which sucks. But, you know, what can you do? Um... So yeah, the other the other current uh, subunit we have right now is called the Community Response Unit or CRU. These guys are tasked with uh, like active or proactive policing, and basically what they do is they do bar checks, uh, foot patrols, things like that. Uh, really, just get active in the community and make more of a presence of the RCMP in certain places. Uh, Another thing here, I have my road textures installed along with an EMD. Um, the road textures are really nice. The only problem I have with them is you can see like there's little, there's little parts like right here, and I haven't figured out why yet. There's little spots that just aren't affected by the road textures, and I don't know why that is yet. It's just it's puzzling me, but I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, Commissioner Glenn has a similar, if not the same, road texture, and I don't believe he has the same problem. So figure that out anyways so this is just a introduction to the video I have coming which is gonna explain more about what's going on um, oh also a thousand subscribers thank you guys very much
All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for the 1,000 subscribers, guys. Uh, it, means, it means a lot to me. I never thought I would get this far this quickly. And I promise you all there's a lot more to come. So thank you all and stay calm. Charging and I'm moving in. Shots fired, shots fired.